Hi, my name is Sydney Wegener and I'm from Macquarie University in Sydney, Australia. We recently conducted a study using eye tracking technology to investigate how oral vocabulary knowledge helps children learn to read. Oral vocabulary refers to knowledge about the pronunciation and meaning of words. Previous work has shown that when children know the pronunciation and meaning of a word, they're better able to read that word than other words they haven't heard before. But how this advantage arises has to date been unclear. One possibility is that knowing a word orally helps children learn to read before the word is ever seen in print. Imagine a child knows the pronunciation and meaning of a word, and they also know what letters correspond to each sound within the spoken word. The child could use this information to form an expectation of how that word might be spelled before they've ever seen it. In our experiment, we tested this possibility for the first time with children. We taught children in year four the pronunciations and meanings of some made up words over several days. We told them the words were inventions coming from Professor Parsnip's invention factory. A Nesh, for example, is an automatic card shuffler. Later we took the words they'd learned about and some other words they'd never heard before and we put them into some simple sentences. We then tracked the movement of the children's eyes as they read them. We also did something else at this point. Half of the words were spelled in a way that was predictable from their pronunciations. So the spoken word nesh was written as N-E-S-H. The rest had spellings that were unpredictable or unusual. So the spoken word koib was written as K-O-Y-B. We did this because if a child had learned about an invention and they also imagined how it might be spelled, then showing them a spelling that was probably the one they'd expected to see should give them an advantage. They would look at the word for a shorter period of time. But when they had learned about an invention and we then showed them a spelling they weren't expecting to see, this should be surprising. They would look for longer. So we expected to see a very big difference between looking times for predictable and unpredictable spellings if the children had learned about them. On the other hand, when we showed them words they hadn't learned anything about, then we expected that there would be a much smaller difference in looking times for those common and unusual spellings. And this is because if children had never heard a word before, then they wouldn't have any expectation about its spelling. As we anticipated, when children had learned about a word, then they looked at it for a shorter period than if they hadn't learned about the word, but only if the spelling was one they expected to see. When they were shown a spelling they weren't expecting, they were surprised, and the advantage of being orally familiar with it disappeared. This shows that children do use their oral vocabulary knowledge to form expectations of the spellings of words before they see them in writing, and this in turn can help their reading. The major educational implication of this work is that reading acquisition during childhood will be supported when children are taught the pronunciation and meaning of words prior to attempting to read them in print. This in general supports the addition of oral vocabulary instruction in the classroom. Beyond the classroom, these results highlight the importance of teaching children new oral vocabulary, whether in the context of conversation or discussing what you read to or with a child.